Hello, this is a fairly brief review of the MCO Plus, Mo, Mo, Mo Plus, I suppose it is, MCO Plus MT600C flash gun, which is for Canon. Um, these are, as you can see, these are actually quite reasonable on places like eBay and Amazon at the moment. And they make quite a good um, cheap buy if you're looking for a, a, a second flash gun or a, perhaps a more powerful flash gun. I'll run over the specifications fairly briefly with you. It's got a guide number of 60 at ISO 100. It's a wireless flash with optical pulse transmission and slave. Flash modes, it's got ETTL, manual or multi, which is kind of strobe mode so you can get lots of flashes of say somebody jumping or something like that the zoom range it's got a zoom head the zoom range is 20 to 200 millimeters when using the normal wide angle and if you pull out this which i'm going to need two hands to do if you pull out this extra wide dispersion plate there that will give it up to 14 millimeter lens and there's a a poor man's bounce board if you want a little bounce board not a very impressive bounce board, but a, a bounce board nonetheless. It's um, compatible with high speed sync up to one eight thousandth of a second. It's got slave flash, which is optical pulse slave flash for the Canon light trigger S1 and S2. Shutter synchronization is compatible with high speed sync front curtains or rear curtain sync, which can be quite handy. Uh, the flash exposure compensation, again, it's uh, plus or third, one third of a stop to plus or minus three stops. You've got um, exposure bracketing supported, flash exposure lock support, modelling flash support. It's got the autofocus assist beam there, which in this particular one puts out a sort of a, kind of like a criss, like a, but like a cross kind of effect. Uh, like a bit like a notch and crosses board type of cross which makes it quite easy for it to pick up the contrast on. Manual flash, in manual you, it goes down from full power down to 1 128th power, so you can get the power right down if you need to. And it's, it's got a flash frequency of 1 to 199 hertz, which means it's pretty short when you're on the closer settings. Recycle time, it's um, quick flash is less than two seconds. But I know for a fact that this will keep up with continuous shooting on some cameras if, if, the, if the subject is close enough. Now I've not had this flash long, but I bought this on the recommendation of a friend of mine who's been using this very same flash and uh, he's been using it for weddings and it will keep up when he's shooting things like um, throwing the bouquet and things, when he shoots a burst with that, it'll keep up quite nicely with that. So it's quite capable of uh, quite rapid recycling. The optical transmission distance for the, the slave setting is about 20 metres and it's got four channels. Flash groups, it supports A, B and C. It works off four AA batteries and it will work off nickel metal hydride rechargeables as well. Now one of the things I like about this particular flash is if I turn this on, it's fairly simple. You've got your sort of mode button, you've got a custom function which will change it from you've got at the moment it's set to automatic zoom because that's what I like, but you can also set manual zoom on, on the actual flash. So you can zoom this in to say an 85mm lens or whatever, which will give you a hot spot, which is quite nice if you just want to darken the background around something. So you can actually sort of cheat. You've got your exposure compensation flash exposure bracketing and you've got your sync options and which will take you through the various different sync options again for adjusting you just rotate the little press one of the buttons and rotate the wheel and there's a lock button to on one two menus a lock button which stops you then pressing the buttons by accident if you're a bit finger conscious it also comes with this rather natty little plastic base which looks as if it will screw onto a tripod although i haven't actually tried that yet um, and it's got the simple slide lock which seems to work better than I might add than the Canon one which used to fall off with notorious regularity my friend who's got one of these and uses it for his job he actually prefers this to the Canon EX580 uh, 
because he thinks it's got more power and he, he just finds it better and more consistent. So all in all, for 60 quid, which is what that cost me off Amazon, that's actually a jolly good little bargain. So uh, obviously I've not had it to do a lot of photos with. I haven't had this very long. But I have done all the test photos I've done with it so far have been fine. There seems to be plenty of power with it. Uh, it's consistent. I'm not getting any weird sort of effects or anything like that. So at the moment, I'm quite happy. The only problem I have encountered, which isn't the fault of the flash, is that I've got one of these slip-on diffuser things, like a, like a plastic thing that goes over the top, and it doesn't fit this flash gun, which is hardly a surprise because it's actually for another flash gun. Because this is, this is considerably bigger than my other flash gun. The head is quite big. So I've now got to find another diffuser uh, for this one because I like to use the diffuser. But we'll see what turns up. Anyway, that's my brief review. Turn that round so you can read it. On the Speedlight MT600C MCO Plus. Well, if you liked it, leave a like. Thank you for watching.